meteorologist Chad Evans. Certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, where skies were clear this morning, temperatures were near zero. Where it was cloudy, it was warmer. It was 15 this morning in Frankfurt, 12 at Rensselaer, but one at Monticello, four at Burlington. We've got a similar situation tonight. Notice the clouds breaking up here in central Illinois, but underneath this high pressure, which pretty much is like a lid, it's trapping moisture. So we've got this pocket of low stratus cloud cover. Uh, if we can get this to break up a little bit tonight, our temperature will tank. But if it stays cloudy, it'll stay probably around 10 degrees all night long. So a problematic forecast tonight. If you do get a hole in some of these low clouds, you'll get very cold. Otherwise, I think for most of the area, we'll drop to around 10 degrees. And temperatures now with a pretty solid overcast, running 15 to 20, 16 Monticello, 14 Winnemac, 19 Burlington. It's 15 at the station, but readings are in the single digits where it's clear in parts of Illinois. So we'll go for right around 10 tomorrow morning. There could be a little light freezing fog in places. 19 at noon and 25 at 4. Winds out of the southwest generally picking up 10 to 15 in the afternoon. And it appears with this inversion, this lid we've got with that high pressure, it may keep at least a good chunk of this low cloud deck kind of hanging on through most of the day. So again, we're going to call it a mostly cloudy day for tomorrow. But then, even though it's going to be overcast Wednesday, I think most of the day will be dry, but light freezing rain still looks to arrive on Wednesday night. But then it will change to all rain by Thursday, and some widespread dense fog will develop. The heaviest rainfall of the event will be on Friday night. Though we could have some periodic rain Thursday right through Friday afternoon. This may contribute to at least some localized flooding, and we have we may have more of that as we get into January with this wet, mild pattern. Even though Futurecast doesn't show it, I think the stratus cloudiness may kind of hang on uh, in a broken fashion through the day tomorrow. But bottom line is. Once we continue it to be cloudy tomorrow night and it stays cloudy as we get into Wednesday, that's when some of the freezing rain will start to develop. There's the moisture plume coming out of the Pacific, and it will also come out of the Gulf, and our storm is still out in California and Oregon, but it'll move into the plains, then move up into Minnesota, and that's what will bring the freezing rain, then rain. This is Wednesday night. We may get a little icing here. But that'll quickly change to rain. It'll turn foggy on Thursday, but then it's breezy, foggy, and mild Friday at 53. We could get a good amount of rain from that. Then Saturday is windy in 36 and 37 Sunday. No big cold snap on the way. Wednesday night ice. We could pick up an eighth of an inch of ice here in our northern counties, but for the rest of us, just a general coating. And before this is all said and done rainfall-wise, about an inch to an inch and a quarter. Burlington down to Crawfordsville, Lafayette, and the rest of the area, a half to one inch of rainfall. 70 forecast. Again, Wednesday night, that's when we could get some icing. Again, a little coating over most of the area. Then rain on Thursday and a lot of fog. Rain, perhaps a thunderstorm on Friday into Friday night. And the weekend right now looks okay. Upper 30s. Partly cloudy skies generally and a little breezy, but again, that's above the normal high of 33. So January mild and wet. That's going to be the weather story really for the next several weeks. I'm looking forward to that, yes, actually. Yes, that's for change. I think a lot of people will enjoy less snow.